So today we're going to be looking at AB Night Vision's RNVG system, or Ruggedized Night Vision Goggle System something, probably. I have been running this system for about, I don't know, a few months now. Uh, I got this set from Steel Industries. Inside I have Elbit tubes, XLSH green phosphor tubes with a signal to noise ratio of about 30 and a figure of merit of around 2000, something like that. This set was for the most part clean. There was a tiny spot in zone two on one of the tubes and being someone who is kind of OCD, I figured that it, it would be something that would really bother me. But when you're actually, you know, running these things as intended, um, that is operating in the night as a tactical operator, operating tactically, um, <clears throat> it's not a problem. Um, uh, for the most part, spots, especially if they're in like the outer zones, like zone two or three, um, for the most part are not really gonna get in the way. Um, and unless I'm looking at like a white wall or something, it's really not noticeable. Um, now why get a binocular system over something like a PBS-14, which is a mono, mono, monocular system. Is two really better than one? The answer is yes. <clears throat> There's more information uh, that is easier to process for your eyes and your brain. The image quality that you get is going to be clear with substantially better performance. That is, you're going to be able to see more things in the dark with two tubes compared to one. Is it twice as better well i don't know because if you think about it getting a binocular system like these rmbgs which are probably the lowest um, i would personally go to in terms of a housing system is still going to cost two or even three times as much as a single pbs 14. so does it perform twice or even three times as better as a single pbs 14. I don't really think so, but I think that once you look through a set of binos, it's really hard to go back to a PVS-14. That being said, there are scenarios where a PVS-14 is going to be superior. And um, for the most part, all you really need is one tube. I mean, um, you really just need one tube in training, and that's, that's really all you need. So basically, this thing is essentially two PVS-14s pretty much fixed on like a piece of metal or I believe it's billet aluminum. And it's basically just fixed on like this horizontal plane and you can adjust the distance in between the um, uh, the tubes to fit your individual eyes. So um, this thing is bomb proof apparently and I can attest that this thing feels extremely sturdy and well built. That's one of the things I like about the RMVG system is that you feel like your tubes are going to be safe, which is really important because you spent God knows how much money um, getting these tubes. Um, <clears throat> so like a regular PVS, I mean, this essentially is just two PVS 14s on a piece of metal. Um, and so because of that, you have your typical PVS 14 diopter adjustment up here and your objective lens back here. Um, you have your turn knob for on, off, and IR illuminator. The onboard IR illuminator is actually, for at least this unit, really decent. I can light up something from like 50 yards away, no problem. Actually, that would probably be the extent, but it's, it's still pretty impressive to have a small illuminator uh, be that powerful. Uh, you have your typical dovetail mount over here. They do have extenders for it. Um, I found that the finish on this is not so great. I have not even had this for that long and I haven't even run this that hard and the finish is already worn off. If that matters to you, then that's something to be aware of. The fin and finish, it's like a matte, weird, I don't know. But, I mean, it's fine. It takes a CR123 battery down here. You have your holes where you can run your shock cord. Also to adjust the distance between each tube from the center, you have these independent turn knobs on the side. Um, and then so this uh, basically adjusts how far left or to the right you want this tube and this adjusts how far left or right you want for this tube. I 
am not a huge fan of this. Um, that's one thing I don't really like about the RMBGs. I don't know, but once you set it, you're pretty much good to go, unless you're like sharing this with other folks. Um, and there's also a slight bit of play, like you can't even really see it, um, but there has to be a little bit of play, I, I'd imagine, um, just to be able to uh, move this kind of smoothly along the plane. Um, but yeah, one thing I'm not a huge fan of are these turn knobs. And it has a limo port here. This system is very simplistic and that is one of its biggest strengths. However, its simplicity and its or strength is also kind of its weakness in the sense of like, it's kind of clunky. I mean, this thing is just like, like just like a brick. And when you're wearing this, you definitely feel awkward, especially when it is in a stowed away position, like even with counterweight. Um, it's not necessarily heavy, but just the way that the housing is set up and the way that and because it can't articulate uh, and be stowed away and tighter to your helmet, um, and it kind of just like sticks out, you know what I mean? When it's stowed away, it, it definitely it definitely feels awkward. Um, articulation is also like two thousand more dollars. So that being said, if you're looking for a good bino setup, I mean RNVGs are really the way to go. As for the elbow tubes, dude, I, I I, don't really get, like, dude, I can see with green just fine. I think the couple hundred dollars you could be saving getting green tubes, it could be going towards getting better performing tubes or more ammo for training. So in my opinion, green tubes are the way to go. And I actually prefer them. I understand that they're kind of getting dated, but I really don't mind them. And elbow tubes... They perform extremely well considering the price point that they're offering. Um, it's giving you really great capabilities. Um, and if you can't afford an L3 tube, Elbit is just the way to go. Um, I would say this setup that I'm holding right now is king for a budget, reliable, well-performing night vision setup um, that, that's in a bino system. Also, I got these from Steel Industries and I'm very happy um, with their communication, with their customer service. The whole experience was just really nice. Um, and so I highly recommend Steel Industries. I highly recommend AB Night Vision RNBGs and I highly recommend Elbit Green Phosphor Tubes. If you got any questions, just drop a comment down below. Thanks.